welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a long awaited one. I know that I have been teasing you about it for quite a while now. It's the Milani Metallic Liquid Lips Lip Swatch video. And yeah, without further ado, let's start straight away. I wanna just, you know, give you a little bit of a summary before I start with the lip swatch. Um, they are of amazing quality. The price point is definitely a drugstore, super affordable. I got mine from about like eight euros if I'm not wrong. This scent is amazing. If you're not that much into the vanilla cookie baking kind of scent into your lip products, this might not be exactly your cup of tea because it has a very strong sweet scent and I'm totally head over heels with that because I love sweet scents in my lip products. So I definitely love this. It comes in quite a nice amount of product. It has metallic gold touches. I have a bunch of colors here which I need to lip swatch for you guys. The one that I have on now is the shade Automatic Touch, the shade 07 Automatic Touch. When it comes to longevity, they're nicely long lasting and also they're very easy to go onto your lips. One swipe of the tube will fill in my whole lips in my case. And my lips aren't the smallest, so when it comes to color payoff, it's definitely there. These are lip creams, so once you're applying them on your lip, they kind of feel like a musy kind of formula, which I so, so love in my lip liquid lips. And I feel that when they have like this mousse formula, they give you the time to perfect your lip application and blend it nicely. So definitely loved it. But other than that, let's start with the swatches because this video would be never ending. So the first one that I have for you is Automatic Touch. As you can see, it's a beautiful shade of purple. I have to say that I have tried another one the other day because I haven't exactly tried these and I haven't exactly worn these. And I feel that this purple one, so I'm not sure if they also share the same formula or not. I feel that this purple one is very comfortable, not drying at all, but it didn't completely dry up. And I only applied like one application, so I didn't layer the product up I don't know it doesn't bother me but I don't know so let's see if it's kiss proof or transfer proof or not as you can see I have nothing at the back of my hand yes so it it does transfer so let's see if they will give us trouble to remove okay so they remove quite easily Okay, so now I'm gonna start by showing you the lighter shade. I had the purple one on because I filmed a video before this, so the one that I'm going to apply now is the shade 01 Chromatic Addict. For this color, since it's a very light color, I'm gonna use a second application. Okay, so this shade is very unique. It's not your everyday kind of shade. I feel that I would go for a darker lip liner. That I achieve like an ombre effect, so I would have like a darker background, but other than that, it's pretty. I think that this would look prettier in an accent color. So for example, you have a matte brown lip on and you apply this a little bit on the center of your lips or something like that. It's a pretty color, but I don't think that I will wear it like on its own. I'm not sure. Passing on to the next shade, it's the shade 02, Materialistic. Now this is so unique, I have never seen anything like it. It's like a brown with a strong kind of duochromatic pink in it. So it's like a brown, rose gold brown. So, so pretty. It hasn't dried yet, although it seems to dry faster than the other ones. But I think that it will look so pretty once it's dry because the duochromatic feel to it is so intense. I love it. I feel that it looks a little bit like the combination that I created with the Pupa eyeshadow sticks, I feel it looks pretty close, so yeah, this is another shade. It definitely dries faster than the other ones and, you know, the dry finish is super pretty. Such a shame to take these off. So this is the next shade, it's the shade 03 Met About You. The color is divine, so pretty, but I feel that it's a little bit less pigment than the other colors but other than that it's super pretty i i really really love it it's like a peachy salmon pink it has lots of orange 
other than pink in it and I feel that it's so pretty I just love it I think it's beautiful and it also dries a little bit faster than the other one just like the previous one by the way I haven't got the whole collection just because I didn't want to buy all the colors at once just so I test the formula and stuff but I will be definitely getting the rest of the shades just so that I have the whole collection because I'm a collector apart from being a makeup addict so that sums it up but if you're local you can now get them from the beauty pixie store my friend Deborah has just opened her online store um, so you can get them from there she has Milani and a bunch of other brands so I'll definitely be getting these and if you want to save some money I think it's 10% off you can use my discount code it's meshing darling x10 code I don't know if she ships international or it's just local so just hop onto her site and you know take a look okay so the next shade up is the shade of for cinematic kiss it's like a pinky metallic shade of course it is also a little bit less opaque than the more opaque ones but it's nonetheless but it's pretty nonetheless so I'm enjoying this as well okay so this is the last shade that I got is the shade 06 metally in love I think it's super pretty it's like a berry kind of pink it has some red into it but it's definitely more of a pink shade so yeah I think it's lots of skin tone will suit this color I feel it's one of those colors that you can wear totally comfortable in summer and totally comfortable in winter because it doesn't have much of both like how do I explain this it's not like a super summery color and it's not like a super wintery color so it's kind of both because it has the berry into it which makes which makes it more warm and more fall fall winter kind of color but then it has a metallic feel to it that makes it more fun and more summery so you know what I mean it's like a good transitional color also okay guys so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy my milani swatches video and mini review kind of let me know if you have any of the shades already let me know if you're eager to try them or to get them yourself i'm really enjoying how they feel how they look and all that stuff and i can't wait to wear them more often just because as i said in the intro i haven't worn them as much so yeah make sure to subscribe like this video if you like it and i will see you in my next one bye Thank you.